And we're live. Okay, I can edit that as necessary. So yeah, they can. Yeah. All right. So well, how is it going? It's going. It's going really well. It's going really well. Um, Good. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be fantastic. And awesome. I'm like dying to to know what it's gonna sound like with <laughs> when too. it gets fleshed out. Yeah, when it gets all of this. Right. So I've been kind of working between the score that they sent me and the part. That I have here, but I did have some specific questions for you awesome. in measure three sixty three. Okay. Yeah, it's the slow trill section down in the bottom. Yeah. So it's on the fourth beat of three sixty three. It, it looks like there's a repeated, so that C is repeated going from the end of the third beat into the beginning of the fourth beat? No, it shouldn't be. Can okay. you tie those? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's what's missing. It's just a tie. Okay. Then I'll, I'll note that. I'm going to keep a running list here of this stuff. I mean, this is endless, right? No, I don't. I, I actually, I don't have that many. I don't have that many. Good. So... Um, that one, and, okay, 568. Yeah, I love when there's like 200 measures in between the errors. And <laughs> <laughs> that was still better that way. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's right, be it's right before, it's right before, yeah. Well, it should be a it should be a whole step. It's it, we're in tenor clef there, so it's I see. F, F flat to uh, G flat to F flat. Yeah, why don't you call that F sharp and E natural? Okay. Although, do you want to take that beat off to get your multiphonic ready? I mean, if, 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 I don't know if you. Like the score there is like crazy loud. Yeah, you know what? That's an idea because what I was doing was I was getting to the multiphonic a beat late on the following bar. And there's part of me when I think about this moment, I actually would like for you, I'm I, we don't really have time to experiment, but I'd actually like for you to get to the multiphonic first. Like I'm halfway. Oh. Through, you know what I mean? Like oh. I almost feel like there should be like a pause. Yeah. That comes in at five sixty nine. I see. So I could even go ba da dee da dee da multiphonic on the fourth beat, and then the orchestra comes in. Yeah, or even like even like a caesura for them. You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. I know this is dangerous. I know this is really dangerous, but... Or if you put in a little bit, it's getting louder, and the orchestra is building up with me. So right. if, if it gets louder and slower, and I play the multiphonic on the fourth beat, and then he brings in the orchestra on the downbeat, something like that. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing, there's actually nothing that far down there, uh, except bassoon, so you should, oh. yeah. let's just try, let, let, let's just do this. Would it be helpful to have a beat off before? Before the multiphonic? Yeah, like, if it would, that would be, I'd, do, I'd get what I originally asked for just fine if I, if you just put a quarter rest at the end of 568. Okay. Right? Because yes. I, to me, it's like, I don't, I don't personally think you're going to gain that much by starting the multiphonic early. Mm hmm I, unless the whole orchestra is sort of stopped. Right. But if they, if I can hear your multiphonic without having the orchestra stop, then I'm fine with that. So, okay. I would say just change, change 568. All right. Maybe beat four is a quarter rest. Okay. And then if this ends up, I mean, I don't know, this moment, obviously I have in my mind what it should sound like. Yeah. But really, I mean, you've got a bass trombone playing the same pitch at double forte, like. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just got to hear what this moment is like before I say there's some sort of scissor or something. Right. But I'm, I'm totally good with just taking, I mean. Because as it is. I'd so, like you to take a good big breath. But as it is, the bass trombone is basically going to be covering me he comes in on the downbeat there as well he does but he doesn't play on beats three and four he goes da da okay da, da, da. and then then there's a whole bar off so you actually actually you will be heard in 571 there's no there's no way you won't because so 
So the first two bars you're Wait a minute. By the the, it's only that's only I'm not playing in 571. You mean 570. The second bar of my multi Are you playing it should be three bars of multi -bar. Oh, it's only two. 569. Yeah. 570. I'll make it three. Yeah, it should be. And then where the double bar is right before I hope it says 575. That's right. That's right. Double or, okay, so for some, I don't know why. Yeah, that's in the score. You get last three bars. Okay. That's, very, that's a very strange. I don't know how that happened. Yeah. All right. I'll change that in the part though. In the final yeah. for the part. All right. So it is now, it okay. is now three measures of low A multiphonic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've told many people what you said about uh, this. The composers aren't supposed to know about this. <laughs> I don't mind. You were very, you were very tasteful. You put it in once, and it's at a, it's at a nice spot where I can get to it. So, right. And I was gonna, say, I mean, I didn't even put it in the cadenza because it would be cool in the cadenza, but it's just this blast. Like, you know, e have a, yeah. If you have anything that's akin to like the scream, as we said, like clarinets. You know, if you need a screeching clarinet, like you can do that. Yeah. But if there's anything, if there's any real scream, it's that. So. Uh huh. It will scream. I will see that it screams. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then going into the cadenza, I had there were three spots, but very okay. just minor things. Yeah. Uh, the f one, two, three, fourth beat of the cadenza, the fourth yes. gr fourth group of sixteenth notes. The okay. last two sixteenths, I think that should probably be e, f e naturally flat, right? Yes. Yeah, tritone, tritone, and then down a half step. So yeah, okay, so just second. reverse those. Natural exactly. first, flat second. Yep. Okay. And then going into continuing, you see the fermata. Mm -hmm. And then there's another fermata on the high D, or in tenor clef there. Um, and then does the B flat accidental carry over? In that case, this is always the question, right? Yeah. Portland. Yeah. Um, I think it should. I think it should be B flat. It should be B flat. Okay. So otherwise, it would be a tritone going into a B natural. Yeah, I think that's weird. I okay. Don't think that would make sense. Yeah. So under the slower yet. Yes. B flat fermata there. B flat on the fermata. I think that makes sense. Okay. All right. Did you catch what I'm doing with the with the cadenza? That's like variation seven. Oh, okay. And then like going backwards through the variations. Oh, I did not catch that. Like okay. You do like a little, you do a little bit of seven, a little bit of six. You don't do the. Um, I mean, I caught the I I caught the snippets. I I, right. I understood that they were from the variations, but I didn't realize right. they were in reverse order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like I gotta find how you know. Is that time when you're like at the end of? I mean, the the very last like. Two percent of the piece. Uh huh. And it's like, how am I going to organize this? I'm like, let's just choose something really straightforward. And uh huh. Oh, that's excellent. That is excellent.